All right, so today we're going to talk about why you should buy an automatic. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm a bitch for having an automatic. Should have bought a manual. Everyone should buy a manual. But here are some good reasons as to why you should buy an automatic. All right, so you guys know that I daily drive a manual car. The Genesis Coupe is a six-speed manual. But that doesn't mean that all automatics are completely shit. There is some some benefits to having an automatic over a manual and I'll, I still prefer manuals just because it's more fun but we got some decent points here for why you should buy an automatic first of all is traffic so if you live in a high traffic place like definitely New York City if I lived in New York City I'd definitely buy an automatic for sure but if you got if you live in a bigger city where there's a bunch of stoplights you're in a lot of stop and go traffic stuff like that I would prefer a automatic over a manual so right now I live in a pretty small town there's not a whole lot of traffic there's maybe like 10 or 12 red lights in the whole town so it's not that bad but if you live in one of those big cities like Columbus Cincinnati New York or wherever and you're constantly stopping and going and just easing them back and forth you're gonna have a lot of wear on your clutch and plus it's just going to be annoying to just have to keep starting and stopping it, it would be annoying all right so the second reason you should buy an automatic or our second point is it's more consistent now how many times have you watched a youtuber or someone else and they've raced someone in a manual car and they say oh i missed second or i missed third or you know their gears grind or whatever um you know as much as we'd like to think we're perfect drivers we're not and you know shit does happen and when you have a manual you have to account for that and sometimes it leads to you uh, losing races I believe Mighty Car Mods they made a video where they drag raced and both of them kept missing gears and shit like that and it's just more um, shit to go wrong I guess when you're in an automatic you know you take off and that's it now manuals do have their spots on say a track but uh, even then automatics have the uh, auto stick features that can still keep up with the manual but overall uh, autos are just more consistent recently automatics have became a lot better than they used to be back in the day they used to suck they used to be slow and like they didn't they, know they, when to yeah, upshift or downshift. Yeah, like they they've made automatic cars a lot smarter now to where they know when you want to upshift or downshift and they're a lot faster at doing that. And even sometimes when you get on the brake, the automatics nowadays will downshift to help with braking and stuff that used to you could only get them in a uh, man. So probably one of the biggest points uh, that we have to make on this is the cars are just faster in drag races whether you know it's a straight line on the street or at the track they're just faster now a while back we did a video on a mustang gt the shit mustang under say that car when we filmed it had 840 horsepower i believe yep. and now it has 950 or 970 970 so and whenever we said he auto swapped it he gen he actually auto swapped it that car was a manual from the factory and he put an auto in it and the reason is he put a built auto transmission in to handle the power one but second that thing shifts so aggressive and so quick there's no way a manual could keep up with it at the track and you know also whenever you have these uh whenever you have automatics you know, they put trans brakes in them and shit like that and it will launch the absolute nuts off the car at the drag strip now whenever you get up in that higher range you know there's some people who still have manuals but it's just you know the automatics it'll just it kills manuals at any point when it comes to a drag race in the newer cars and especially when you get a built one and uh, so on and so forth so yeah the last reason you know a really good reason to buy automatic is if you're drag racing someone it kind of goes over all the other points it's more consistent you don't have to worry about missing shifts it's faster than what someone can manually shift a car and three you know you have you can get uh, trans brakes and line locks and I know you can launch with a uh, 
clutch and shit, but it's just not as fast and it's not as practical for drag racing. buy automatics over manuals whether it be performance or practicality it all just depends on what you want so if you like manuals drive manuals i prefer manuals and yeah that's basically it at the end of the day they both have their pros and cons so it's really what you want or what you like in a vehicle um you know then both of, like i said both of them they they have their good moments and their bad I'm sure we'll be making a video here soon about why you should buy a manual, but for now, leave a like on the video, make sure you're subscribed, and have a great day. I'm too good for my own good, I won't leak the album, I let it spill